Hi everyone, my name is Miss Danielle and I'm so excited to be visiting with you today. I work at a really special place called the Dixon Gallery and Gardens. The Dixon Gallery is an art museum. A museum is a place where you go to learn all about new things. So at an art museum, you learn all about art. We have paintings, drawings, sculptures or statues, all kinds of super fun things for you to get to look at and learn about. So once you've learned about art inside, you can play and explore outside, looking at all of the different flowers and plants and trees. Today, we're gonna do lots of fun things together. First, we're going to look at some artwork at the Dixon. Second, we are going to read a storybook that relates to what we're looking at today. And then third, we are going to make some art together inspired by everything we learned. Let's get started. From January 24th to May 9th of 2021, the Dixon is hosting a new art exhibit or art show called America's Impressionism. Let's look at two of the paintings that are in the Impressionist art show. An Impressionist painting is going to have tiny brush strokes that you can see and is trying to show you changing light. Impressionist commonly painted water because water reflects light. So you can see lots of different colors and shades in the painting. See all of the different blues and browns and oranges that this artist used in their water? Now look at this one. It's mostly a bright blue, but you can still see hints of oranges and darker blues. Now that we've had some fun looking at and learning about new artwork, let's take a moment for story time. The story we're reading today is called I'm the Best Artist in the Ocean by Kevin Sherry. Hello, I'm a giant squid. And I can draw. I can draw fish, and I can draw crabs, I can draw manta rays, and jellyfish. I can draw anything. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing? Oof, they don't look very happy. They got some ink on their heads. Squid might be in trouble. I'm making my masterpiece. Look what the squid drew on their face. It's a mustache. Look, I can draw like this. Or like that. Look at all those fun lines. or even like that. Look at all those fun shapes. Stop! Who's telling him to stop? It's a shark. Ooh, that shark does not look happy. I think we skipped a page. We did. Here's what the shark said. You are making a mess. They're really unhappy about the mess. 
Do you ever make a mess when you make art? I do. Okay, he's thinking about what they said. Hmm. Did I make a mess? You mean... A masterpiece? <laughs> Look at what happens on this page. It is so big. What is the masterpiece drawn on? It's a whale. Look at all of those awesome drawings. Whew, can't even hold it. The paper's trying to flip over. <laughs> wow. Okay, gotta get this folder back up before we can see what happened next. The end. Oh, look who's happy and making a mess now. Did y'all like that story? I sure liked it. That one's really fun. Now that we learned about this wonderful artist from the ocean, let's be artists ourselves and make something super fun together. Let's get started. Today, the first thing you're gonna need is some paper. You can use blank paper, colorful paper, notebook paper, whatever you have will make it work. If your grown up is okay with it, you can get a pair of scissors, but if you don't have scissors, that's okay. We'll learn how to make without it. You might also want a glue stick or a roll of tape. And we need something to color with, so I've got construction paper crayons. The first thing you need to do, if you are using a blank sheet of paper, we're gonna color it first so it looks like the water. I like to peel off the paper of my crayon and color with it sideways. I just find that to be really fun. If your grown-up's okay with it, you can color this way too. I colored on both sides, but that's not really necessary. You can color on just one. The next thing I decided to do was go in with lots of different colors and draw all kinds of sea creatures on my paper. I was inspired by the creatures from our storybook today, but you could draw completely different ones. Yours does not have to look like mine. Maybe you'll create a new creature we've never even seen before. Now, if you want to color just one sheet of paper today, that's fine. But since I also have this blue sheet, I thought I would color that too. On this paper, instead of drawing sea creatures, I decided to draw waves and lines in the ocean. Remember those impressionist paintings we looked at earlier and how they showed all the different reflecting lights on the water? That's kind of what I was trying to imitate here. I had so much fun with it, I even went back and added squiggle lines all over my fish too. Now that we've finished coloring, if you have scissors, it's time to use those. I'm going to cut my first paper into thin strips going all the way across. They don't have to be exactly the same size. You can see that one's thick, that one's skinny, but we're gonna go all the way across the paper. And if you don't have scissors, no worries. We're just going to tear it. And this might be a little messier, so just take your time nice and slow. It's okay if they're not super straight. We're gonna do the best we can. For our next step, we're going to be using our glue stick or our tape to attach the strips to another sheet of paper. So I'm grabbing my first strip and I'm bending it back and forth to create that nice wave. Looks like water. And the two places where I've got those bends in the wave, I'm going to add a little bit of glue, pop that wave up and press it down. You may have to hold it down for a little bit to get that glue to stick. And I have my nice first wave. If you're using tape today, you'll do the exact same thing. First, you're going to fold the strip of paper back and forth to get those nice little bendy waves. Once you've done that, grab your tape and just put one piece on each side. 
Now I'm going to go through and add as many strips of paper as it takes to fill my entire ocean. You can keep going in a straight line if you want your ocean to look nice and neat, but I really enjoy working all over the paper so I can put together the strips kind of like a puzzle. Once I'd added all my strips of paper, I cut out little extra pieces to glue on the edges to fill in any extra white spaces. And here it is all finished, my wacky 3D ocean. Thank you so much for creating art with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you're really proud of your creation, I would love to see your artwork. You can have your grown up help you to share it on social media using the hashtag Dixon at home or discover the Dixon. And if you want to make more fun art projects with us, you can hit the subscribe button and follow our videos on YouTube. I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.